This trailer has taken us over three years to get. The nostalgic feel, the retro look, and the chicness to it is going to be quite the attention grabber. Let's go take a look. So this is the... <laughs> so thank you to my cheerleaders over here, Jordan and Michael Borough. So this is the 2023 New Camp Barefoot. This is unlike any trailer I've ever seen in my entire life, okay? It looks like an egg, a blue egg for that matter. It's a one-piece seamless fiberglass shell, which means it's virtually impossible for water to be able to intrude. Now, let's be honest, this thing is just cute. I could imagine somebody pulling this behind their Subaru Outback or their Toyota RAV4. I mean, just a small, cute camper to be able to get away on a weekend. Okay, this model is 16 foot, seven inches long and weighs a little over 2,000 pounds as it sets. Let's get into a couple of the unique features and we'll take you on a quick 360 and show you why I'm so excited about this model. Starting at the tongue of the trailer, first I wanna point out it is a two inch ball. We have a manual crank here for the front tongue jack and housed inside of this fancy little storage box, you're gonna see you have two small propane tanks and directly back behind them is a spare tire. Now, these propane tanks even have a regulator back inside there. They'll give you a general idea uh, to see how full each one of those tanks are. Now, this latch here just simply closes up, providing you a nice finished off feeling to the front of this. And I love the accent that they've placed on their new camp which by the way is manufactured up in Ohio. They're a very small independent manufacturer that is known for their high quality construction. Uh, and primarily they build the most popular teardrops that are available on the market. And that is the Tab series. So this is the New Camp Barefoot. As many of you may or may not know, this has been thought about for years. And finally, this model is here, okay? They initially released it over in Europe. Uh, and had a European version. However, now in the United States, just three or four years later, it is actually available for sale. This model retails for a little over $52,000. So down low, it does have a gray tank that is built in. You simply to the left there have a gray tank drain. In the middle is your uh, front stabilizing jack. You have four of these, two up front, two in the rear, just to help stabilize the entire trailer as you enter and exit the coach. Now, this is the back of your Audi uh, furnace system. We'll get into some of those details momentarily, but that's very unique for something uh, of this size. So inside here, they are using the Nautilus system. This is popular amongst many travel trailers like the teardrops or or even high-end luxury fifth wheels. This is gonna give you the ability for you to winterize, uh, sanitize your tanks, or even simply just control all of your water systems by the switch of two valves. And over to your left, you have a water heater bypass there. And then to the right, you even have a built-in motion sensor light. Uh, all of these water lines are going to enter and or exit up and through the bottom here so we can close off this door and keep everything weather protected. Now to the right, you're gonna see they have a marine style uh, hookup for your 30 amp power cord. Now we cannot not, not, not mention, look at me inside of these rims. That is just so nifty and I think really goes along with the well play of that nostalgic feeling on this model, okay? These are baby hub moon type rims, which I can imagine this trailer will look beautiful behind a retro, maybe uh, F100 style truck. All kinds of unique things coming up for these models, I'm so sure. Now, I didn't want to make sure I missed out on these drains under here. These are your low point drains. So when you're done using the camper after a long weekend, we just want to simply drain out all of the water on the coach. That's an area for you to be able to do so. Now, this model is using dual pane acrylic windows. That's the windows that are here. They also have one in the rear. These are incredible, okay? They are uh, better insulated than a typical single pane window. They condensate less and they're a lot quieter. For those of you that wanna use this in a state or national park, you're gonna love having those windows. And I'll, of course, we'll show you more once we get inside there. Now, I could not get this open with my keys. However, what's in the back here uh, is your cassette potty, okay? This has a removable cassette toilet. Uh, or tank, I should say, that actually is on wheels. So you can discard of all of your uh, 
I would say nature's plans, you know, anywhere with this model versus having to disconnect and discharge all your tanks elsewhere. Now, this model is only six and a half foot wide, which means it's gonna be very easily towable by small to mid-sized SUVs. You're not gonna need huge towing mirrors for towing a small trailer like this. Hey, a lot of people are asking me, what about these little handles on the back here, Justin? Well, I gotta tell you, this model is so lightweight that you actually have the ability to be able to move this thing around. So I was talking about that garage earlier, or for those of you that are a little bit newer to towing, you can actually push this thing around just by the handles. You have those both not only in the rear, but also in the front. Now, here we are at the entrance door. First, I wanna close this entrance door just to give you an idea on the quality here. Watch this. Man, does that sound good. So look at your campsite here, okay? Up and overhead, you've got a porch light so you can see what you're doing there at nighttime. And look at the little bee underneath there. He's even enjoying this thing. Okay, I love the design that's down the side of this. I mean, this thing is super cute. And uh, again, I just think uh, this is an incredible model. Really excited to talk about it here. Now down low, you have an electric hookup area. So for those of you that wanna plug in any of your camping essentials, you know, you have all sorts of flexibility on the exterior here to do so. Now let's get inside. I'm really excited to show you some of the unique uh, items that this trailer has to offer. But first, I also have to refer to the Keter rail or Peter rail that's up and down the side here. Basically, you can hook up uh, different attachments through a company called teardropshop.com, which will give you the ability to be able to hook up maybe an awning or perhaps you could set up a little outside screened in room. I'll leave a link below. That way you can start exploring some of that on your own. And at the very tip top of this model here, you'll see that they have a vent. Uh, that vent, of course, will open and close, just giving you the ability to maximize the amount of airflow that this model has with those beautiful big windows all the way around. Now, look at the front tongue of this and look at that front windshield. I mean, again, the nostalgic look, you know, that retro feeling is just incredible with this. They have absolutely nailed it. And uh, let's go ahead and let's get inside. I'll show you a couple of the unique things there. So there's so much to talk about inside of this mighty little camper. So bear with me here. As we enter inside, the first thing I wanna point out, this is where your fire extinguisher would stow, but this is where the real fun starts, okay? This is storage for maybe some wine bottles, okay? I know some of y'all are gonna have that wine night inside of this trailer, which by the way, a lot of people don't know this, it has the Barefoot Bliss package, which means it comes with your own little wine glass. Sorry, that's a spoiler alert, but I had to share it, okay? These are light switches, which you'll commonly find throughout the entire uh, you know, coach inside here, okay? Those light switches are gonna turn on various accent lighting to provide some of the most aesthetically pleasing uh, lighting that you have ever seen on the inside of a trailer. Okay, to the left here, you're gonna see you have a huge storage closet. It's got a hanging space inside here. It also has the uh, storage for the dinette table inside there. And then look down below, that's gonna be your 30 amp power cord. Again, by the way, this is all illuminated using an LED light inside. You even have some storage up and overhead there. And then down low, you're gonna see you have some extra storage here as well. Back inside, there's that fire extinguisher and you can see just nicely or how nicely this is finished off. Okay, as we enter in, the first thing you gotta see is that this has the isotherm 12 volt refrigerator inside here. This fridge is gonna cool down your stuff in just a couple of hours and keep it super cool for a few days possibly. Now let's get inside and I'll show you the aesthetic features, okay? This is one of the most beautiful trailers I have ever seen. I mean, I just absolutely love this thing. Okay, starting here at the kitchen. You've got uh, glass covers here for not only the sink, but also for your cooktop. So if we open up the sink here, you've got a foldable uh, you know, sink faucet that folds down, nice stainless steel bowl there. And then to the right, you've got a two burner cooktop that has a built-in automatic spark, uh, sparker, just using the little piece here. And of course you can bleed the propane through there. And we're gonna lift up to fold that down. Again, we have to point out all the windows that's on the inside here. You got windows surrounding all the way. Okay, so over here to our left, there's a bunch of storage here, maybe for various spices or uh, some of your camping or uh, cooking essentials. And then all of this stuff here is the meat and potatoes of how this trailer functions. Okay, this has the Audi heating system. 
I'll get into some of the quick details because some of you are going to want to know. The Audi heating system uh, runs both your furnace, but it also runs your hot water. Uh, it's almost like a hydronic heating system that you get in a four or $500,000 coach, uh, all in something that costs $52,000. The benefits to you are the fact that you can run both the water heater and or the furnace off of either propane or electric, which will give you maximum flexibility on how you're gonna to wanna to use this camper. Now, up and above that is the, I always call it the Yule. Uh, I don't know if that's really how it's pronounced, but the Yule is the uh, air conditioning system. It has an AC that's mounted up and underneath of that front dining area or that front booth. And uh, basically that will provide more than enough AC on the inside of your uh, coach, just to keep this thing nice and cool on those hot 100 degree summer days. Okay, to the right there is your uh, battery slash gray, black, and freshwater tank, uh, you know, uh, viewing signals. You can simply click a button and it'll tell you how full each one of those tanks are. And then to the right is your water pump switch. Now, outside of that, you're gonna see you have a smoke detector up and above. You got a towel rack or a drying rack, uh, you know, holder right here. And then right there is gonna be a vent for that uh, air conditioning system. Now up and above, you've got kind of this tempered glass look. Again, just exposing some storage and look at all this back in here. It's like a nicely finished off kind of leather material, something that you would find inside of a high-end luxury car. Spinning around, you'll see you have some additional storage there as well. And then of course, up front there, you have that massive bay window providing ample light on the interior of this trailer. Okay, these are super cute as well. You've got these nice little, uh, you know, sliding shades that of course will block off any of the light. Uh, again, just giving this a very retro feel. To the left and to the right, you're gonna have USB ports. Those will simply run off of the 12 volt batteries. And what you don't see at the moment is that table that would traditionally be set up right here. There's a leg that attached to that table. Of course, it'll sit uh, roughly about chest height when it's set up. And this could be a huge U-shaped booth area. Now, at nighttime as it is, this is going to actually fold in to a huge uh, bed, okay? This bed is gonna be nearly probably a queen size bed, which would be able to house at minimum two people, or two adults, I should say, and maybe one dog or a couple dogs for that matter. Okay, spinning around here, I we'll just wanna show you more windows. You got more storage up and overhead. I'd love to show you how these windows open up, by the way, just simply push these in, okay? push that out as it is and then we're just going to push it up as high as we can go look at that okay we got plenty of cross breeze coming through and you've got daytime screens and then tonight when you're ready for bed this slides up and you've got a nighttime shade okay i love the fact that they're using almost like a butcher block type material for the counters in here it really just warms up the entire trailer uh, as you can see and of course they've placed you know tons of usb or 12 volts along with you know regular household outlets throughout the trailer that way you can really maximize your living space uh, while you're out there and camping okay this is another air conditioning vent right here you've got some cute little storage right inside that door area there. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. Almost looks like a medicine cabinet, if you will. I know many of you are gonna to wanna to see all the storage that's down inside here. Let's, so let's open this up, show you some of the storage that's there. And then let's spin around to the back half here. I'd love to show you what's on the inside of the bathroom, okay? You have a wet bath inside here, which is going to be a combination toilet and shower. You're gonna see you have a sink that's here. The sink has a nozzle right up and above that either you could use for a shower nozzle or just simply to wash your hands. And then I honestly have no idea what this is. You guys could tell me, uh, looks to me like either uh, like a toothbrush storage area or something to that effect. Uh, leave it in the comments down below what you think and then over here is going to be your uh, you know towel holder and then this is the Audi heating system I think this is a great idea to have it on the interior of the bathroom because that way you could put some of your wet stuff inside of here and that Audi heating system is going to actually warm everything up uh, and keep everything nice and toasty for you and then we got to say hello to Hunter over here Hunter's out here having some fun aren't you Hunter yes, yeah buddy see you bud so then coming back inside here, you see is your cassette potty we were discussing. To the left is gonna be your toilet paper holder. Again, more air conditioning vents inside. They just really didn't forget about anything here. Let's open this up, show you some storage inside there. 
some more storage in here. Now, many of you are gonna wonder what this is. This is the Audi uh, glycol solution. It's a, uh, almost like an antifreeze type mixture. Uh, if you wanna learn more on it, you can simply look up that Audi heating system online and it'll refer to everything that you need to know. Now, down in the corner, you're gonna see that they do have a power flush for the toilet here. So you don't have to hand pump anything. Uh, just using the fresh water tank that you could uh, fill up on this model, you could simply flush your toilet using that. Now, I can't forget about the fact that you have even a window inside of the bathroom, okay? The cool thing about that window is it's like a smoke style glass, which means it lets light in. However, nobody can see in and you can't really see out for that matter. So I just think that's a cool, uh, you know, kind of feature that they have. And of course, everybody wants to see what the sliding door looks like. We'll just simply slide that open here. You can see what that looks like all nice and closed up. Now, I forgot to show you some of the storage that's underneath of the kitchen area here. So let me show that to you here next. So you got some storage down below. And then over to the left, you've got a nice little storage drawer that's right and above the refrigerator. Uh, of course, your furnace is gonna come from down low. So you're gonna see you have some furnace vents that are there. To the left is your fuse and breaker panel. This model does come uh, you know, pre-prepped for lithium capabilities. So for those of you that wanna add some lithium batteries to this, you certainly can. Now let's get into the bed setup and we'll take it from there. So since everyone always asks what's underneath the seat cushions, there's really not a whole lot of storage. Uh, as you can see, this slides in and out to provide the uh, platform for the bed. But back and behind there is all the plumbing lines for uh, both the Aldi heating system, but also for that Nautilus water system I had showed you outside there. You'll even see that your water pump is back in behind there as well. So again, just wanna give you a general idea on what's housed underneath this storage spot. Let's get into the rest of the setup for the bed area. So opening up the right side bed, you can see that there is some storages underneath it here. It's on hinges. Looks like your massive crank handle for the stabilizing jacks inside there. I'm super curious. I would love to know what's back in behind this curious box here that's uh, all you know nicely screwed together. So if you'd happen to know, again, leave me a comment down below. We'll fold this back down. Let's go ahead and we're gonna slide this piece out. Now that's made into our platform for the bed, we'll go ahead and simply slide these cushions over, as you can see. So there you have it, your bed is completely set up. Again, this is massive and could easily sleep you know, up to two adults with no issues. A lot of people don't know, but underneath of this front cushion area, there's actually a battery disconnect that's housed right underneath of there. So up and above, the last thing I wanna end everyone off with is that this does have a three-way or a two-way ventilation fan. It's a fantastic fan. It's got three different speeds to it. You can either suck air out or bring air in, uh, really controlling you know, the overall airflow on the interior of your Barefoot by New Camp. So there you have it, the tour of the all new 2023 New Camp Barefoot. I hope you enjoyed the tour. My name is Justin. I work at Beckley's RVs right down here in Thurmont, Maryland. I appreciate everyone watching. Go ahead and leave me a like. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. I love hearing your feedback. I wanna get better at these videos. That way you can enjoy them and stay watching them for longer. We'll see you all in the next one.